Hey, what's going on, guys and gals? Welcome back. Today is July 1st, 2013. It is a Monday, but not one of those normal, dreary, gotta drag my butt out of bed to school or work type Mondays. No, 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 no. Today is a Minecraft 1.6 release, aka the horsey yeehaw, wanna be a cowboy baby Monday, or something like that. So. <laughs> Uh, yes, it, Minecraft 1.6 is officially released today. There is a little bit of a trick to get it, however, so I'm going to uh, gonna show you how to do that right now in this video. So, first thing you must do is head over to Mojang.com. And in fact, you'll look over here, you'll see that Dinnerbone even states here 22 minutes ago on their Twitter feed that you absolutely need to download the new launcher to get 1.6. Uh, this is true. If you just run 1.5.2 or your old launcher that's on your computer right now, You'll never get past 1.5, so you absolutely need the new launcher. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So head on over to Mojang.com. You can skip through all that and look at that later. You want to grab the new launcher based on your, your particular um, operating system. So if you have Windows, you grab that one. This one's for Mac, and this one's for Linux, of course. And then you've got your server jars down here if you happen to run a server. So go ahead and grab the, uh, the launcher that you need. I've already downloaded mine. I use Windows, and it's all ready to roll. So let's go ahead and run it. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to see that funky page in the back there. Um, and, and then you'll see this, this new screen. Of course, this is all familiar to you. We've got the update, the news here, the news page. Uh, but along the top, you're going to see some new funky looking tabs. So we'll get to those in a moment. Over here on the right hand side, you'll see a profile selection and a drop down box. And there's only one profile in there right now currently. I'm going to show you how to make a new one here in a moment, and this shows you this particular profile's uh, details, which happens to be the release 1.6.1, which is the latest retail release today. <clears throat> and, excuse me, and the status is up to date. Um, and we have new profile buttons, added profile buttons, and then the service status here shows you whether Minecraft is up or down and whether the login servers are up or down. So right now everything's up. Um, although today I would expect you might have some issues, might be up and down throughout the day. It's already been down a little bit uh, here and there, but it is up at the time of this recording. So that's cool. All right. Uh, whew, where do we begin? Let's go to the profile editor first. Uh, actually, let's run it. Let's just run it. So you're going to run that. We're going to log in first. So you're going to, this is where you log in. I've already logged in. And then it brings up Minecraft. It will download it if you don't have it already. And then you can see here 1.6.1. Great. There it is. Pretty cool stuff. And this is my 1.6 point, well, this is my pre-release video that I did that with the world for that video, which I've already done, so we don't need to look at that right now. I'm just going to get rid of that. And by the way, when once Minecraft is running, you can kill this window. You don't need to have this running in the background. <clears throat> in fact, I recommend you do kill it uh, because it takes up some memory. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the profile. So let's say, um, well, that's it. That's pretty much it, how you get 1.6.1. Very easy, but let's say you play on servers that you absolutely have to have 1.5.2. Well, that's not a problem. So what you want to do here is you click on new profile and then you're going to give it a name. So let's say we're going to call this MC 1.5.2. All right. And then over here, you can leave all this stuff by default. Um, don't have to check anything there. Just go here to where it says the use particular version. You're going to choose the release 1.5.2 and then save it. So that's how you do that. So now you've got two profiles and you can choose here the one you want to play. So if you want to go to 1.1.6, uh, use that one. If you go to 1.5.2, you use this one. So I'm going to log in right here and I'll show you how this works. Hang on. Okay, so there we go. I just logged in to 1.5.2 and it, um, it actually downloaded 1.5.2 as you can see here. And it keeps it nice and separate from the 1.6.1. 1. 1. Whew, so many points and numbers. Notice, oh, this is cool. Minecraft 1.6 is now available for manual download. Please click here. So it shows you that if, if you're using 1.5.2, then it gives you an indication that, hey, ding dong, 1.6 is out. But we don't want 1.6. And then you can go to your multiplayer 1.5.2 servers. Um, so there you go. You can kill that. And go back here you can make as many new profiles as you want um, you can have uh, you can actually use mo some modded um, profiles as well for modded minecraft i might do that in the future but for now i just wanted to show you very quickly how this works now i'm going to give you one other tip as well if you edit your profile go into your profile and this is a good tip if you have a lot of memory on your computer um, like i for instance have 16 gigabytes of memory 
on my computer so I want a little better performance from Minecraft you can use this argument right here this little checkbox you check that and then you can increase this number um, I'm going to put 4. So I have 16 gigabytes of memory. I'm going to assign 4 gigabytes for Java to use. And that does seem to help. You can also change the resolution if you want to play in a particular resolution, like 1280 by 720, for example, which is a common, uh, which is common widescreen ratio, 16 by 9 ratio for recording and uploading to YouTube. So that's something that a lot of people will use. And you can also change this if you don't want to use the latest version, like this one's going to continually download automatically. You can just say, listen, I only want to use 1.6.1 for this one. I'm not going to do that now. Um, and you can even change the game directory. If you want to store your worlds in a different location, you can. I'm going to save that profile. And now I'm going to load that up. And see how it sized the window to 1280 by 720 automatically for me? Pretty cool stuff. And it did assign actually a little more memory, so it, it might even run a little bit better. I would recommend that even if you don't have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you should at least check that, and you'll get that one extra gig. If your computer is relatively modern, you should do that. Uh, the more you have, the more you can assign here, obviously. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. That is it, my friends, and 1.6.1 is uh, ready to roll so go have some fun and it's time to be a cowboy baby yeehaw all right we'll see you soon bye bye